So how'd you get involved with Kappa League? Um, my seventh grade year, I went to a youth leadership convention, and my brother actually, he asked us to stay so we could listen to a man by the name of L.A. Keys talk about Kappa League, and from then on, I became interested. So how's the Kappa League impacted your life? Um, first, Kappa League has impacted my life by giving me a father, a father figure. It's giving me something in school to strive for. It's, enables me to strive for greatness and I see with successful men around me what I can do. Coming a part of this program, and I heard my mother tell Mr. Lashante Keys he had the right to discipline me by any means, I immediately knew this, that this was real. After my first meeting with KL, I suddenly knew this is what I was looking for in my life. In middle school, I'll admit, I wasn't one of the coolest people or a good looking stallion like I am today. So I was afraid to exit my comfort zone in a lot of circumstances. But that didn't matter when I was here because what I later found out that my mom didn't just sign me up for any old male leadership institute. What she essentially signed me up for was a brotherhood. When I was with my KO brothers, anything outside that may have been upsetting me or troubling me, it didn't matter because every time we linked up, it was so much fun that our minds were taking off the hardships at that time. In ninth grade, one of the first questions I was asked by LA was, what do you plan on doing in the future? Um, as a ninth grader, I honestly never thought about what I planned on doing when I got to the real world. Um, after some reevaluating and some self-assessment, I figured out that I wanted to do something with sports medicine or exercise science. Um, by the time I was in 10th grade, I was a student trainer all the way to my 12th grade year. and. I knew that exercise science, I was leaning towards more because I like the scientific aspect of helping people become better athletes. Um, during my senior year, when I applied to enroll in USF Tampa, I got a letter in the mail that basically told me that I wasn't accepted into the school. Um, they suggested that I went to community school 
there for a couple of years before that, before I finally came to their school. Um, after I, I called LA, I told him he read the letter and he he said community school is not a it's not an option. It's not an option. You can't. He wouldn't let me settle for anything less than a real university. Um, I wrote an appeal letter, got accepted in the USF, and now I'm basically sitting with a 4.0, and now I'm ready to chase my dreams. Primarily, I would like to thank God. He has helped me through it all. I would like to thank everyone who has been there and helped me develop into the person who I am now. I would like to give a special thanks to my mom, my dad, my little sister, my aunts and my uncles and my grandparents. And I would like to give a big, big, big thanks to Lashante Key, my mentor, who has been through it all and has helped me. These moments that I've had with Capital League is something that I always cherish. Um, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to even be involved in the chapter, not only just being involved in the chapter, but also being my chapter's vice president. And it's not all of me. It came with a lot of help and a lot of, you know, talking to. So I want to thank, first of all, I want to thank God for just, you know, being there with, with, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank God, you know, for just placing people in your life at the right time. And I want to thank God for blessing my parents to know, you know, when something is good for me and keeping me in something. And I want to thank all my friends. Not, they're not really my friends. We're, so, we're, we're close like brothers, everyone in the chapter and all the capitals that are in the chapter, but especially one, Mr. Lashante Keys, LA. I mean, that guy really means a lot to me. He's, he's really like a second father. I, I just admire him in a lot of his ways, and I appreciate the great, the great, the great role model that he is for not only myself, but for almost any young man he comes across. I admire him for his fathership and how he is a father to his son. I admire him for being a husband to his wife. I just admire that man so much, and I'm truly grateful to have him in my life. I love you, LA, and I love Capitoline.